NCIS Los Angeles, also known as NCIS LA, has been on the air for close to 13 whole years now, following closely in the footsteps of its predecessor, NCIS. The series, based on a team of special agents who solve mysteries and criminal cases related to naval and marine nature, is currently airing its 13th season. In honor of its long run, let's talk about some of NCIS Los Angeles's behind-the-scenes moments and secrets fans didn't know about. Behind the scenes fun. When one sees these professional actors playing special agents so convincingly, it is often easy to forget that they are people outside of their characters on the show. As in, they do break character and have moments behind the scenes that they may post pictures about. For example, Daniela Rua once posted a picture of her on set. In the picture, she is holding a prop bomb in front of Eric Christian Olsen while he pretends to suavely look look away and drink his coffee. Olsen's brother. By now, we've come to know and love Eric Christian Olsen as Marty Deeks and Daniela Rua as Kinsey Bly on the show. More than that, fans have come to adore the relationship dynamic between the pair on and off the screen. Chances are you already know this if you're an avid fan, but the plausible reason for Rua and Olsen's easy chemistry and connection on screen might be because the pair are somewhat related off screen as well. Another fun fact, Eric Olsen's brother David Paul Olsen plays Eric's stunt double on the show, and here's where their relationship comes in. Daniela Rua is married to Eric's brother, David Olsen, which makes her Eric's sister-in-law. It's clear that the three of them have a lot of fun on set, as Rua once posted a picture of the two brothers in the exact same outfit, with the caption, One of these guys has a muskrat on his head, not sure which one yet. More Kinsey and Deeks it may be somewhat awkward to be married to your brother's wife on the show, but Eric and Daniela manage it really well. The pair get on really well on set. As the night their characters, Kenzie and Deeks, finally got married, Eric posted a picture of Daniela stuffing her face with cake and looking tired. This makes sense considering how they handled the wedding with as much showmanship as they could get away with. For the caption of the image, Olsen chose to poke fun at their dynamic, saying, when your fake TV wife finds the fake TV cake for the fake TV wedding, but for real eats it before the cameras even roll. Hashtag when cake is bae. Fatma's new role, a character widely adored on the long-running show, is Fatma Namazi, played by actress Medallion Rahimi, who has been part of the series since season 10. Fatma recently gained a lot of social media traction when she posted a clip of herself set to appear in a new show in one of Hulu and Disney Plus's most anticipated series of this year. On Instagram, the actress shared a bunch of pictures from behind the scenes on the set of Pam and Tommy, and as great as the announcement was, fans could not seem to comprehend that she would first appear in a whole new show before she would in CIS LA. The reason for this stagnant delay in the airing of season 13 episodes has to do with the Winter Olympics. NCIS Los Angeles, with a few other network shows, has been taken off air to accommodate the USA's coverage of the Winter Olympics. The next episode, of course, is set to air on February 27th on CBS in the USA, hence for the show ending. Here's the thing. Shows that go on for as long as NCIS LA have often had a hard time coming to a conclusive end, whether that's because of how ingrained in their respective network culture they are, or just because the directors don't want to end their means of earning just yet. A lot of these shows suffer from the age-old, long-running show curse. NCIS LA has somehow managed to rise above it, though, as it still has its fair share of fans who regularly watch the show. Interestingly enough, though, a few fans may have noticed an actor from the show posting subtle hints and fueling rumors about the show's end on Instagram. Actor Eric Christian Olsen posted a cryptic message on the social media app earlier this month when he posted a preview image of himself in an upcoming episode of the show at the time. The picture itself didn't raise many eyebrows, nor did the we about to get into it caption, but the hashtags contained a single terrifying prospect. Amongst many millennial typical hashtags, the actor had added a 
hashtag the final season. This inevitably sent fans down a spiral of anxiety, especially since the world of NCIS is particularly sensitive right now. NCIS New Orleans was officially canceled after seven whole seasons, and although a newer spinoff was announced, certain fans still mourn the loss of the old show. The hashtag may have confirmed some of the fans' worst fears, that the show might be on its way to completion. Although, the question mark doesn't still hope that it may have just been a joke. Later on in the caption, the teasing hashtags, hashtag JK and hashtag but you never know, were deemed downright mean. More proof about the show's potential end. R. Scott Gemmel, the showrunner for NCIS LA, talked to TV Line after season 12's finale in March of 2021. He talked about what the final chapter of the series may include. He said that the team behind the show have sort of always had an ending for the show at the back of their heads, although a heads up by the network would be nice, solely because they could then get a chance to go out with an episode or a bunch of episodes that really tie up things and send the characters into the future in a way that makes everyone happy. But they'll just have to wait and see. CBS usually renews its shows around May each year, but the fact that showrunners have avidly thought about it may be a hint. As of now, there is no clear inaction of the future of NCIS LA. Daniela Rua's awkward blunder. NCIS LA had been off the air for quite some time before season 13 began airing, and even now, the show takes longish breaks between episodes, so it's fair to assume that the actors themselves had to acclimate with the set environment all over again. Here's where Daniela Rua comes in. Now that filming is back in full swing, Rua and co-star Medallion Rahimi keep sharing behind-the-scenes clips from their days back on set. Rahimi posted a video of her driving through the set on the back of a buggy smoothly as a minor sneak peek. Rua, on the other hand, was not so lucky. Rua's video captioned, totally focused on day one, at NCIS LA, depicted her in the car, starting to sing, back in the action on NCIS LA, while moving her camera around until a voice from far away shouted, set. This kicked the hilarious chain of events into action. Rua, in seemingly blind panic, turned her phone off and said, oh my god, we're set to go. Of course, the blender didn't manage to affect the scene itself, as Rua put her phone away timely like a true professional. Kenzie's wedding shoot, literally. Kenzie and Deke's wedding was the event of the season on NCIS, and if you've seen the episode, you may guess where we're going with this. No show does plot twists better than NCIS, arguably. So it was both predictable and unpredictable that the Densi wedding would break into chaos. And so it did. Rua, as Kenzie, had to fight in her wedding dress. And we can't be sure about Kenzie herself, but Rua was pretty excited about the fact. She posted the picture of her locked in a mock battle stance with her stunt double, Kimberly Shannon Murphy, with them both smiling at each other and looking gorgeous in their respective wedding dresses. Well, the same wedding dress, actually. She captioned it, learning a fight with this phenomenal mama at Kimberly Shannon Murphy stunts for the hashtag NCIS LA wedding. Eric is a dad, and what he was like as a child. During a joint interview with Entertainment Weekly, Eric Christian Olsen sat down with his mom and revealed embarrassing details about Olsen himself. During the interview, the pair were adorable, as his mom admitted that she does not like all of his movies and is often grateful that she has to only see them once, like Beer Fest. She also revealed that Eric has always had a problem with authority, so if he didn't like a teacher, he would find a way for for them to make them beg his mother to make him drop out. We wonder if that has ever come into play behind the scenes of NCIS LA. Either way, Eric is now a father to his son Wyatt, who is now around six years old. And that's all for this video. What do you think about these behind the scenes moments and character details? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed watching the video, be sure to leave a like and share it with your family and friends. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to get notified every time we post a new video. Thank you for watching.